Baboon TV presents Eight Actors Who Hated Their Most Iconic Roles Number 1 It's not exactly unknown knowledge, but teenage Robert Pattinson hated the Twilight series. He was critical of everything in the film, including his own acting. His attempts to rid himself of the connection to Twilight have just made him more famous for hating it. And he didn't hate it only after it was done and dusted. From the moment filming began, Pattinson was very vocal about only being there for the cash. During a press tour, he said that if he wasn't involved in the series, he'd just absolutely hate it. Number 2. Nobody knew of Sean Connery until he landed the James Bond role. It kickstarted his career. And wouldn't being THE James Bond be the coolest job in the world? Apparently not for old Sean. He said that he always hated the character and has distanced himself from the role. Connery outright declines to do anything that is even slightly related to Bond. But it's not just because he hates martinis. He states his reasons for leaving as poor working conditions and a low salary. Thankfully, it didn't put him off his job altogether. Number 3. Kate Winslet is most famous for her lead part in Titanic, which put her on the map. To call the movie a success is an understatement. For years, it held the record of being the most profitable film in the world. The film was given rave reviews, mostly citing the chemistry between Kate and Leonardo, and the pair's enthralling performances. However, Kate has since stated that she cannot bear to watch herself act in the movie. Apparently, every scene is torture to her. She also has said that she hates her accent through the movie, and wishes she was able to do it again, and get it right this time. Despite the film being an overwhelming success, Kate considers it her biggest regret. Number 4. Before leaving the role altogether, Matt Damon criticized the third film in the Bourne series, calling the script poor. But Damon states he does not blame the scriptwriter but the studio for rushing the whole production. Damon left the role in 2006, leaving Jeremy Renner to take over as the series lead. There are now rumors circulating that Damon is involved in the creation of the script for the newborn movie, which will be released in 2016. Number 5. Shia LaBeouf is very adamant in showing his regret at the Transformers series. It did put him on the map, but he has very little respect for the series, and you can't really blame him. But Transformers has nothing on the latest Indiana Jones film where Shia had a supporting role. Okay, that film is mostly George Lucas's fault, but fans of the series haven't excused Shia. After the film's release, Shia let on that he wasn't alone in his distaste for the film. Apparently, the film's lead, Harrison Ford, doubted the film too, but just didn't want to say anything. At any rate, Shia has since stated that he doesn't think he's a good choice for the lead in an action film. Number 6. Every geek in the world loved Carrie Fisher in Star Wars, but she herself didn't have the best time on set. She stated that Lucas ruined her life accounting it to the fact that the cast rarely found more acting work after participating in the series. She was also not fond of the outfit she had to don, especially that outfit. You know the one we mean. Work on the new film is difficult too, due to her mix of accents. Despite all of this, it has been confirmed she has a major role in the new series, though she let all fans know that she wouldn't have returned if the bikini was involved. Number 7. The news of The Happening was exciting to everyone involved in its production. How could they not be? Shyamalan had directed Sixth Sense and now was doing a new R-rated movie. It couldn't go wrong at all, surely. Well, actually it could, and it did. The film made practically no impact in the movie circles. The lead, Mark Wahlberg, wasn't soft with his sentiments about the new movie. In 2010, Wahlberg didn't mince his words. He called it a bad movie. No two ways about that. Not the best review from your star. Number 8. Everyone knows that classical actor Alec Guinness didn't think much of Star Wars, but what's less known is that he didn't actually hate Obi-Wan. He just hated how Lucas dealt with the character. He stated that he thought the script was generally bad and was not displaying his talent as an actor well. He only stuck around for the large paycheck, considering the relatively small screen time he had. He was, however, not entirely against the film. He claimed there was something new and fun about the film. He ended up regretting the whole thing as its popularity spread across the masses. He wasn't so miserable on set though. The cast and crew enjoyed working with Guinness, and he had fun with the cast, which is great because no one wants an angry Jedi to work with. Thanks for watching another amazing video. Don't forget to subscribe for more.